Sarah from Losing It for May 42. <sighs> so this week, I'm not gonna do an I'm not gonna do a regular update video. Today's Monday. I usually update on Wednesdays. I'm not doing that. Um, I just really don't feel like weighing in is going to be beneficial. I think focusing on how to change things is going to be much more beneficial. So this week I'm going to focus on a bunch of different things. I'm going to focus on what I'm eating. I'm still doing the green smoothies. I'm still doing salads. I'm incorporating more um, proteins and fats into my diet. I believe that's why I've been so like, like one of the reasons why I'm so hungry when I get home. Um, is that I basically didn't get enough food and then I'm like makeup makeup gotta shove it all in and it's like no um, I also pulled out my fitness pal which I haven't consistently updated and I don't know how long and I pulled out my fitness pal and I entered my smoothies and my salads as recipes so that they're very easy ads and so I don't get frustrated with that um, and yeah so, tracking my food, tracking my water. I also haven't updated my, like, I haven't tracked my water in a long time. I really looked at the stuff that I used to do on a consistent basis and I haven't done in a long time. And I was like, I need to get back to this. I need structure. I need something to really make sure that I'm doing what I think I'm doing. Um, I'm also working on... You know, I'm not working on exercise, but I'm working on my body. Um, I'm basically, uh, I don't know what it's, I, I can never remember the name. It's like micro something release. Um, it's this, it's the basic thing of what, what you do when you foam roll. Um, I do it with a lacrosse ball. And I do it on um, the muscle groups, basically from my waist down um, to to my coccyx, basically. Um, so my glutes and my lower back. And what you do is you just lay on the lacrosse ball and put it on basically any tender spot that's not your spine. Um, you put the ball and you lay on it and it fucking hurts. It hurts a lot until, like, your body just, your muscle will finally, like, just let go. And it's not like you drop down. It's a slow process. But, like, you can basically tell when your muscle group releases because you don't feel the intense pain anymore. And I said intense pain because it is very fucking painful. Um, the more tight you are, the more painful it is. And I have been told by physical therapists and massage therapists, I'm the tightest person they've ever seen. Yep, that's me. I'm a tight ass. I'm an extreme tight ass. <laughs> but the way that I walk, the way that like my body functions and compensates for my back, for my, my um, back issues, because that's all where my, um, my disc issues are. Um, that whole hip area, it gets so fucking tight when I walk or when I move basically. So this has always been something that's helped in the past. It, it's a bitch. It's a bitch at first. It's a real bitch, but it helps over time, like loosen up the muscle groups. Um, once I've gotten that down where it's much more easily maintainable, for most people who do like foam rolling, it's like a 10 to 20 minute process, depending on how tight you are. For me, it's over an hour. And that's usually me basically going like some other part of me hurts, so I have to get off the floor. Um, like today, mid back started hurting because I was laying on the floor. Um, my mid-back's been really unhappy lately. 
which is unusual because I don't tend to have problems with it. But so mid back through 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 a fit. Um, and so I had to get up. But once it's down less than an hour and a half, it take when it takes me less than an hour and a half, I'll start incorporating yoga. Just simple, very basic yoga. Um, I've never done yoga, but we'll find out. Um, on YouTube or something, because I don't want to go to a yoga class. I know I talked about it a lot, but I realize I don't, and especially now with my back. Like, I can't bend in certain directions, like forward. Um, so I think in my mental state, I'll get really upset if I was in a class and they tried to do something and I couldn't do it. Um, which is silly, but it's just, I know my mental state and I know that that would really bother me. And so like, no, it's really the, a lot of the reasons I don't do group classes is that that's always been the case. It's like, I, you know, even when I was, you know, younger and fitter, I don't think I was very fit, but <laughs> I don't think I've ever been fit. Um, but at least younger, I'd go to these, my girlfriends would want to go to these classes and I, the rare times that I did it, it was an incomplete embarrassment where I had to like sit down and like just wait till it's over because I couldn't do the things they were doing. Um, so no yoga classes for me yet. Just very basic stretching. Just trying to get my back into a better working order, hoping that plus calling a chiropractor and actually calling the chiropractor can at least get me back into some better fluid state because right now I'm having trouble going to the grocery store. Like it's not even I have trouble when I, you know, exercise. I have trouble after going to the grocery store. I went the other day, um, I went shopping the other day, and I didn't do very much. I I went to Catherine's for a little while, very little, and then I went into TJ Maxx, and by the time that I was done at TJ Maxx, like, I was having severe issues lifting my legs, and I haven't had that problem in forever. Um, and later that day I went to Target and I tried, I went to try a pair of jeans on and like, I literally, my back was like, fuck you when I tried to like, take, lift my leg to put it in a pair of jeans. Like, that's how it's been lately. It's been so, so bad. Probably because of all this fucking weather, it, we've had violent storms and tons of rain for months now, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just fucking hurts and I need it to stop. Um, so I'm working on that. I'm working on the things that I know that I can do that will give some level of improvement. Um, other things that I'm doing. Oh, I'm making sure I take my medication. Be it my vitamins, which I take on a semi-inconsistent basis. I'm okay, but not, I'm not excellent. Um, and making sure that I take my IBS medication. That's a big one. I haven't been taking it, and a lot of it is because I didn't necessarily need it. Um, I was going to the bathroom every day on my own, and I was everything, you know, I was like, oh, this is fine, I don't need it. But what I realized was, like, I was having, like, cramps, and pain, and discomfort, and I was like, this is the reason I, it, it was one of those stupid things where it took time, a lot of time, that I, for me to piece together, like, this is reason I went on this medication is that it stops the pain and discomfort and you know it's it's it originally it was also you know to, to go but I don't 
need it so much for that. I need it to take away, it, it does stuff to basically desensitize because um, my intestines are basically oversensitive because they're so angry. Um, so I needed to desensitize it because it's really fucking painful. So I need to take my medication every day. It's hard because I used to take it with my breakfast and that was the, that was the best time of day to take it. When I take it in the afternoon, it gets weird. When I take it at night, I can wake up in the middle of the night and that's, I never wake up in the middle of the night. So that, that's really just uncomfortable and annoying. Um, so day, like taking it with breakfast is the perfect time, except you have to take it with solid food in order for it to be effective. I guess I don't really need it to be effective, I just need it to work on the other levels, so maybe I'll start taking it with my smoothies. But I did take it today. I did take it. Um, yeah, so I'm working on a bunch of different things emotionally, mentally, and, you know, food and everything else. I'm working on things to really try to choose make things better, to really focus on me and on what I need. It's going to be a hard balance to make sure that I'm not being, like, selfish and mean, but that I'm taking care of myself, and I think it's hard. As anyone who's ever been a caretaker knows, it's really hard. You feel really bad, you know, being selfish, and it's it's one of those things where it's like, well, you kind of... You kind of have to be selfish in or, or else you're never going to get... Seriously, guys, this is... I get, like, the last parking spot. I could hurt like this and be a dick. Um... But, yes. So, that's kind of the stuff that I'm doing, the stuff that I'm working on, and I'm just trying to make it... <sighs> trying to find the balance. How do you take care of someone and make sure nah, they're as okay as you can? Um, and making sure that you are as okay as you can. I think it's going to be, that's going to be the hardest battle for this week. I think I can hopefully, knock on, knock on wood, get my eating down, because I feel like, I don't know, Sleeve, Sleevy McGee is super uninterested in food today, which is excellent, and we can hope that this just continues. <laughs> I didn't even finish my green smoothie. Um, oh, I also, green smoothie, I also bought, um, like, liquid glucosamine, I think that's how you say it. It's, it's basically joint stuff. And it's got a whole bunch of stuff in it that's like very specific for joint and anti-inflammatory anti stuff. And I'm putting that in my smoothie. I wasn't a fan of how I tasted. Um, it wasn't terrible, but I wasn't a fan. And Sleepy McGee was like, meh, we could, we could go without this today. Um, so between that and my coffee, I had very little to eat today. Um... But I, I want to incorporate that because that has a lot of anti, natural anti-inflammatory stuff, and I need that. So even if I don't put it in my smoothies and I just do a fucking shot of it, I'm going to do that. Um, and I got some collagen pills. Um, I can't afford the one that Hello VSG 2016 recommended, um, and I kind of been looking, and I found... I found like an array and it was like a couple of powders and then these pills. The pills had the most collagen and it also had other stuff um, like acids and things that are um, beneficial or other ones were just the collagen and I was like, mm, 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 I'll take the pills. Um, so I'm trying that and I was like, if this works, I may add, if it, if I see benefits from this, I may add it to my repertoire and invest in it, but right now I can't afford it. 
Um, so yeah, I'm trying things and stuff, and hopefully they'll get uh, things will get better. It will. I just have to remember that you know. I can't say fuck it because I don't want to. I think part of all of this is I got to 250 and I was like, okay, like, what if you never, what if this is it? And like, you have that stupid, what if this is it moment. And my body's like, sure, this can be it. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want this to be it. I don't, I don't know what happens from here, but like, I want to get down lower. I want to see what that's like. <laughs> so I'm trying and I'm going to focus on food. I'm going to focus on mental health and I'm going to focus on getting my back into better order before I start to think about going to the gym or doing anything like that. I need to figure out my health first because all the, all the, all that has done is set me back further. So I need to figure out how to how how to do things with my back to make my back tolerable so that I don't get set back further. Okay guys. I will probably come at you Friday as an update of how the week went. Um, or maybe Saturday, but I will update you later on this week how things are going. And if anything crisis happens, I'll let you know. Okay guys, bye.